All right, guys, so this is going to be a new video series on Betaflight 4.2 tuning. I'm going to do it in a different way than I did in the past. I did a video previously on how to install the Betaflight configurator on your Android phone, and that's what I'm going to be using to show you guys how I'm making the settings changes in uh, making the PID tunes for particular models. And it should be fairly straightforward. I'm just going to be using like the sliders and I'm just I'm going to try and adjust as little as possible. I'm not really going to be deep diving into all of the things that you could possibly make a perfect tune out of this, like in terms of the filtering and, and, and black box and all that stuff. I'm not going to get into any of that stuff because I, for me, I just wanted to get like an 80 to 90% tune. I'm not looking for the 95 to 100% tune. That's just way too time consuming. And for my flying style, and for, I think for most people, you don't really need that. I think if you're, you know, someone that's looking for top performance, you're probably going to want to, you know, go further into more details on how to do um, additional tuning on top of this. And, you know, there's going to be lots of stuff in the Betaflight Wiki, which I'll link in the description as well. You can go and deep dive into that stuff. It, 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 it can get quite tedious and very time consuming to uh, do a 100% tune if that's what you're looking for. However, this is the, um, the uh, iFlight Titan DC2. I did a video on this before with the little prop guards on here. There was a, a 2.3 inch prop guard. And with the prop guards off, this does um, spin a two and a half inch prop. This is a um, HQT 2.5 by two by three, I believe. This is a, I think this is a new prop, it's not out yet. If it is out, I will link it in the description if you're curious. This is, um, for for this particular weight, this is kind of a heavy micro. Um, I, I think I would suggest maybe a, even a higher pitched prop like the Gem Fan 2540 or the, the HQ 2.5 by 2.5 by three. Um, this came with the T by, uh, I think the 65 millimeter prop and which is a little bit more than two and a half inches. And that one's a very, or the, the, the blade is very narrow and uh, the pitch is very, uh, very shallow. So it doesn't have a lot, it doesn't fly very well on that. This, this quad does not fly well on that prop. This one does work a little bit better. And you'll see what I had to do in the pit tuning to uh, get it to work. So um, for these videos, you know, I'm just gonna show you basically start to finish everything every every little step that i did and hopefully it's not going to be too boring for you guys but if you want to see sort of my process and, and my thinking and what i see and what i hear from the props on the tuning then you should probably watch the video very carefully before you ask any questions because the whole thing you know there's going to be your answers are probably your questions are probably going to be answered somewhere in the video at some point if you watch it very carefully because I'm going to go through the whole process start to finish. I often get a lot of questions where people watch about 30 seconds of the video and then they're like, well, what about this? And then like, well, why don't you go five minutes more into the video and you'll see the answer. So uh, in that case, I'm just not going to answer your questions. So just please watch the whole video if you have specific questions. If you if there's something that's missing, then I will answer it. All right, so I'm on totally stock settings here, default beta flight settings, 4.2. And already this sounds a lot better. I am using the new 2.5 by two by three props. They definitely have a little bit more bite. They sound cleaner than 4.1. I actually might not need to do too much tuning. I have RPM filter turned on, of course, with these 32-bit ESCs. Well, we got some prop wash there. So I probably need to increase the D gains a little, or the P gains. Getting a little bit of prop wash. I 
This is just because of the extra weight. I could probably increase my min throttle. That might help because I am dropping the throttle to zero when I do some of these moves. All right, let's bring it in and adjust some of the settings. Okay, so I'm gonna look at my configure and motor idles at six. So this is kind of heavy, so I'm gonna bump that up to eight. And I'm gonna also reduce the filtering. I'm not gonna try and change any of the PIDs. Let's see if that makes any difference first, and then we'll try to make some more changes. So connect again, and then go to PIDs. And gotta look for filtering. Filter settings. And you can see I just have all the default settings in here. Let's just check if um, RPM filter should be on. Yeah, so I have the uh, bi-directional D-shot turned on. Just wanted to make sure that was on. So I'm going to just decrease the filtering a bit here. I'm going to take it down to, the motors weren't hot by the way, so you make sure that you don't have hot motors. I'm going to take it down to 1.5 and hopefully won't, the motors won't get too hot. We'll check that, but we'll see how this does. So that and then the increasing the min throttle should help a lot. I'm still getting a little bit of shutters. Yeah, some of the split S's were, you know, I think it has to do with the weight. So I think P gains are still gonna have to come up. And this battery is probably almost done. I mean, just cruising around or just going low to the ground like this, there's some, these little issues don't seem to come out. It's flying much, much better than it was on 4.1, that's for sure. Let's, uh, let's increase the P gains a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna use the sliders here and I just wanna increase the, the P gain. So I'm gonna lower the PD balance to 0.8 and then bring those back up. So let's see, we're at defaults here, we're at 3538. Uh, D min is turned on. I'm gonna leave that on. I, I'm, normally I would try and turn that off, but I'm gonna leave that on. I'm gonna try and bump up P just a little bit. So, okay, so I'm gonna go down to 0.9 for PD balance and then increase PD gain uh, to 1.1. So that keeps D about the same, increases P just a little bit. Um, I'm gonna do just a, go to 1.2, just, Action, that was a little high, so keep it to 1.1. Let's see how that does. So I'm almost out of battery. Let's just do a quick test here. Yeah, it's not that, it's a little better, but not that much better. I 
think I might need to turn D-min off. I'm gonna have to continue this on another battery at another time. Probably a different location because the battery's about dead. You can kind of come out of it a little bit easier. We need to raise min throttle some more again. Anyway, I'll continue this in another session. Day two. Okay, so here another day. And I'm going to disable D-min. Probably should have done that from the beginning before I messed with the PIDs. And let's just see what this is like. I have a feeling that we're still gonna have to raise the P and the D gains some, uh, just because this is an underpowered quad, it's the power to weight ratio is kind of low. So we'll just see how this goes first, and then I'll come back and raise the gains some more if we need to. All right, so pretty windy right now. Oh wow, so we're <laughs> turning Demon off really, actually I think I fixed it. There was all that shuddering. It's all gone now. That's amazing. I mean, wow, the tune's much better. Even it's, the wind is much worse today than it was the other day. I'm actually kind of shocked. A little bit of a shutter, that's mostly the wind. So when in doubt, turn off Demon first. Especially for these micros, I'm finding that on 4.2, turning off Demon seems to help a lot. I'm not sure why I forgot about that earlier. Yeah, it's, now it's flying pretty good. Yeah. I mean, there's not much you can do about the wind. It's going to push it around a little bit, but it's, I don't think the tune is terrible now. It was doing weird stuff with D-Min on all that shuddering or the prop wash. Now the prop wash is much better than before. Some prop wash there. Uh, the power loop. All right, so let's raise the gains a little bit more. See if we can get that prop wash out of there for the power loop. All right, so let's raise up these gains. P and D gain for 1.1. Yeah, 1.1, 1 1.2. I'll try 1.3, and hopefully we won't get too much of uh, oscillation. Oscillation. If not, we'll have to go back to 1.2. And I'm gonna leave the D there. Maybe a little bit more D might help with the prop wash, but I don't want the motor to get too warm. So let's just start with that. Just go to 1.3 and see how that does. All right, so we don't hear any oscillations. That's good. Oh yeah, that's much better. Yeah, I think that fixed it. So I like using the sliders, although it is a pain in the butt to 
connected to your phone every time you land versus using, using the OSD. You can do this via the goggles, but then uh, when I do that, you guys can't see what I'm doing because the DJI goggles don't record the OSD. Oh, it's much more locked in now. Hopefully the motors aren't too hot. I don't hear any oscillations, so they shouldn't be. Yeah, it's way, way locked in now. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. How, how, how did you think the tune went and what would you do differently? Yeah, it's looking pretty good. A little bit of a shutter there. There we go. We can get it to come out if you really turn hard. Yeah, if you raise the throttle in time. There we go. If you turn super hard, you can get it to come out. Again, this has to do with the PD or the um, power to weight ratio. This thing's just too heavy. And I'm going to be taking all these parts out and putting them into other things. Uh, the 1404 is going to go into a 3 inch. This uh, all in one flight controller is going to go into a 5 inch. Yeah, along with the air unit. This frame is probably going to be, be it's probably better suited for Vista units. So I might do a rebuild later down the road for that. Because this needs to be lighter overall. You can only do so much with tuning, but this is about as much as time as I'm willing to spend on something like this. So go ahead and take this tune. I'll uh, dump the CLI if you guys want it. Because this is all stock here. If you have a DC2, try out this tune on 4.2. It's not bad. It'll work. All right, guys. I'm out of here.